Assalamualaikum. We'll be presenting on vitamin accession. Vitamin accession among people has been seen across many parts of the world. In the US, at least 47% of adult users take at least one vitamin and its prevalent increase by age. Before we dive deeper, firstly, what is vitamin? Vitamins are organic compounds which are essential micronutrients that humans require in minute amount for proper functioning metabolism. Vitamins are classified into water-soluble and fat-soluble. Water-soluble vitamins are vitamin B and vitamin C, whereas fat-soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E, and K. Fat-soluble vitamins are stored in adipose tissue, whereas water-soluble vitamins cannot be stored in the body and pass with the water in urine. Most people do not need to take vitamin supplements and can get all the vitamins and minerals they need by eating a healthy, balanced diet. However, many people choose to take supplements, but taking too much or taking them for too long, which could be harmful in long term. Vitamins are usually recommended for groups of people who are at risk of deficiency. Most of the supplement taken in the form of synthetic vitamin instead of natural vitamin that acquired from food, such as veggies, fruits, and fish. In contrast, the synthetic vitamin is made by human in the lab that mimic the natural vitamins. Some examples of synthetic derived vitamin include bottle of vitamin C, vitamin D or biotin supplements. These are all readily available in most pharmacy or in other words, we can tell that it is easily to get and much cheaper than isolating it from nature. It is crucially used because it recognizing link between certain compound and related disease such as scurvy and vitamin C deficiency that allows to eradicate the disease. Next, adopting the attitude of nature is good meanwhile the synthetic is bad is really misguided. But if taken it in uncontrolled manner, it will lead to the adverse event later. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Generally, people consume vitamin to ensure they get enough essential nutrients and to maintain or improve their health. These scenarios are completely fine if these vitamins are taken within the recommended dosage and under doctor's guidance. However, in cases of vitamin obsession, the main trigger is the fear of nutrient deficiency. This group of people are very concerned with their health and tend to consume a huge amount of vitamin so that they get enough nutrients. The second reason of the vitamin obsession is cosmetic reason. Some people believe that vitamins such as vitamin C can enhance their beauty and make their skin fairer. Therefore, this group of people tends to consume immense amount of vitamin so that they get fairer skin and become more beautiful. This habit of consume a huge amount of vitamin can lead to vitamin obsession. Nowadays, we have witnessed many non-medical experts out there claiming to have all of the answers regarding vitamins when the rest of the scientific community has questions. As we all know, vitamins do give various benefits to our body. However, by consuming these vitamins excessively can also manifest potential toxic effects to our body. For example, uncontrolled intake of vitamin A can lead to hepatotoxic effects including portal hypertension, liver, and spleen enlargement. In addition, unnecessary consumption of vitamin D can cause cerebral, renal, and cardiovascular damage, such as calcification of the soft tissues in the heart and lung. Next, consuming too much vitamin C can lead to gastric upset, diarrhea, and cystine or oxalic stone formation in urinary tract. Lastly, immoderate intake of vitamin E can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, blurred vision, and allergic dermatitis. Now, let's talk about how can we overcome this obsession. First, we can change what we eat. Nutritionists and public health experts have suggested to keep your vegetable as the cornerstone of your meal. This is because most green and leafy vegetables are rich in vitamin E. Colorful peppers are rich in vitamin A. Salmon and tuna are rich in vitamin B3. Need vitamin C? Go for citrus food. See how nutritious our meal can be. So, get your food right, okay? Next, exercise. Expert things regular physical activity can act as a healthy stand-in for addictive substances. That's because exercise and drugs of misuse works on similar parts of your brain. 
they both activate the reward pathway which triggers the release of feel-good chemicals like serotonin and dopamine. Just a simple walk or a jog in the park is all you need. All the vitamin from soaking up from the sun and the beautiful view of the park totally worth it for your health. Last, in some cases, there are some people who may need to get the help from professionals in order to break the addiction. A consultation, rehab, or therapy can be considered for them to psychologically move on from their addiction towards vitamin.